What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Swolger Nation. We're here in fitness culture. Today, we're gonna be doing some training for lat width. You hear a lot of people talk about wide lats, thick lats. What does it all mean? Obviously, your back, you have tons of muscles in your back from your traps, your rhomboids, your lats, your erectors, all sorts of different muscles that need to be trained in a variety of ways to really have the best back you can have. And today, I'm gonna be focusing on one of my weaknesses, and that's a lat width. So when you think of a nice V taper, you think of nice, tiny waist into some flaring lats. The way we train the lats is going to be very important if we're talking about width. You know, we have the lats, the teres major, and the teres minor. Those are pretty much the three major muscles that we're talking about when we talk about width. So today we're going to be going over that. We're going to be starting off with actually a deadlift modification that's something that is really cool. I haven't done it in a long time. Before I do that, I'm going to get weighed in trying to build some lean mass right now. That's my goal to build lean mass. I started out about 209 six weeks ago. I'm going to go step on the scale and I'm also going to warm up. 16 and a half isn't too bad for the morning. The goal is to get to 220 and then we'll start getting a little bit leaner. I don't know what my body fat is, but once I hit 220, I'm gonna go get my body fat tested, probably bod pod or maybe hydrostatic if I can find one. We've done that in the past and I've always liked starting off a cut by doing that. So got a couple more weeks of gaining lean muscle mass and then we're gonna hit 220 hopefully and then bring it back down, get down to about 210, 212 and hopefully just be shredded for the summer. Let's get back to training back. Came through tripping Aquafina, I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. As we all know, pull-ups are a great exercise for lat width, if done correctly. You can actually do so many different variations of pull-ups here, but first we need to learn how to retract our scapula to put ourselves in the right place to then do a proper pull-up. So, hanging from a bar, first thing we're doing here, just scapula retraction here, keeping those shoulders nice and healthy. It's gonna be important when we talk about training back. Also, that mind-muscle connection, it all starts with that movement there. Next thing we're doing for warm up, YTW on the TRX is gonna warm up pretty much all different areas of our rear delt, rhomboids, our traps in there, so we have the Y. Boy deliver like he happening. Core with they just give him estimates. Summer sauce for my Benjamins. We have the T. I got, I got what you need, baby. Start the Chevy, make a scene, baby. LABB been the team, baby. Bim and Papa were the G, baby, look. We have the W. Labs on the finish, had a handful of limits through the hand. Got a bag, now the hands in the business. For my hand, it's a ticket. Talking miser for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Five, five in each direction, three rounds of that. I've been playing with the minutes that they been should have gave. And I'm flipping every digit that they been should have paid. Had to find a way to get it. No, this isn't what you made. All right. First exercise we're gonna be doing is a deadlift. I know a lot of people are saying, Steve, you're talking about lat width and you're gonna do a deadlift. Isn't that back thickness? And while that is very true, heavy deadlifts is gonna be a great overall developer of your back. One thing that we're gonna be doing here is a sweeping deadlift. So we're adding a resistance band. Now I've added a fairly heavy resistance band because the heavier of the resistance band, the more it's gonna to wanna to pull that bar away from you. And what we're gonna be really focusing on is keeping our arms straight, bar close to us the entire time. And as you can see, it's like doing a lat pullover. So you're gonna be here the whole time, really having to engage your entire lats. Hardest part is gonna be when that bar passes your knees, that's when it's gonna to wanna to start really pulling away from you. And you really have to fight against that, using those lats, keeping that bar tight against your body. We're not standing up all the way like we would a conventional deadlift. We're gonna stop right here and just a two count at the top. So I'm using a snatch grip, which is gonna be super wide here, setting up just like I would for a deadlift here. And again, as you stand up, this bar is gonna really wanna start pulling you towards this bar here. So you really want to make sure using those lats. Here we go. We got four reps here. So if you want to really focus on lat activation, a heavier band is going to be where you want to be. Then you can use a moderate band and get a little bit heavier to really focus more on the deadlift side of things. So ultimately, you're going to be activating your lats a little bit more no matter what resistance. I'm really focusing on that lat width today using a heavier resistance band. Really what it's doing is making me keep my elbows down, keep them close to my body, just like a lat pull down. So the nice thing about this is you guys can use different resistance bands to really dictate what you guys want to train. Today we're using a moderately heavy band and really focusing on overload loading the lats. Now I can lighten up the resistance band, get a little bit heavier and have kind of the best of both worlds if you want to do more overall back or you can go super heavy, really light resistance bands if you just want to start incorporating that lat integration with your heavy pull. Another thing, if I don't have tension on this, I'm not going to have that same response from it. So I need to make sure that I have constant tension on that and really it's what that's doing is creating that lat pullover motion or like a dumbbell pullover. 
We're really engaging our lats here. Next movement is gonna be the pull. -up. Now, depending upon how strong you are, you can do this pull up just with body weight. You can do it with an assisted pull up with using the band or a machine assisted pull up. But basically we're gonna be doing eight to 10 reps here. I'm gonna be using a 10 pound weight to give me a little bit added resistance, but it's what we do at the end of the set that's really going to be different for you guys today. So basically what we're doing is just a loaded stretch. And that means we're gonna be doing pull ups to failure using a slightly wider than shoulder width. We're gonna be really focusing on all the way up and then back down. You can see my elbows aren't flared out to the sides. They're in front of me, getting a full stretch at the bottom. Once we hit failure, somewhere hopefully between that eight to 10 rep range, we're then gonna lower our body right to here, keeping our feet out in front of us, keeping our core nice and tight. And what this is gonna be doing, shoulders are nice and stable, keeping our lats engaged, basically just extending the set without having to do kipping pull-ups or without having to drop the weight. We can just hold there. And that loaded stretch is gonna be great for hypertrophy. It's a way of extending the set and getting a lot more out of the set. I work in finance, God bless, no, it's not by chance no. Don't dab me, you're not my man no. Don't at me, you're not my man 90 seconds rest, and then we're at it again When we're in that fully stretched position Coming back to what we did in the warm up That scapular retraction, that's gonna be important So all of our weight just isn't on our shoulders Retracting here, using the lats All right, fourth and final set on this 90 seconds rest, isn't a ton of time I'm actually using no weight for this one Biggest thing here, we don't wanna start swinging To get that momentum to get up we're using our lats, our elbows are in front of us, pulling down to our chest, squeezing, and then full stretch at the top. That's for sure though. That's for sure. Riding from the grip, no shame, take a photo. Time to take a trip, we head north to the border. Say you filling up, I'm my favorite type of order. I got kids. Definitely can feel it all on the lats here. Two exercises into this lat width workout. Next exercise is gonna be a single arm hammer grip pull down. It's gonna be a fun one. We're on hammer strength. You can do this also on a, a cable pulley system, but we're gonna start from high, pull down to low. And that's really focusing on the stretch again. Contraction, so the top one to two count on the stretch, two to three count on the contraction here. So really focusing on both ends of the movement here. I'm just gonna go about 45 degree angle. Get a nice stretch, you can feel it there. The lats, you can feel the Terry's major in here as well. All of a sudden now you're pulling down. One. Two. Good stretch. Six reps, nice and slow. And then six, just all the way smooth with no pause. I've been scoring every day. Champagne Perrier. Since nine three, been in the box now. Stepping up on like straight out the sand lot. Total of 12 reps there. Six with a pause on each end. Six, just nice and smooth. Got this far, I go hard, let God take a troll. God take a troll. I was starving, skinny, now my weight up. Got no energy for haters. See you trying to see you later. See you later. I'm sure it's for the stars. Wake up those lats. Little stretch in between sets. Make sure you're on these first six, you just squeeze that hell out of it, okay? That's the key here. Two seconds at least, and then one second at the top. Stretch, squeeze. One, two. Everything we do starts with retracting that scapula at the back. I can pull here and just use biceps. I'm not getting anything out of that. Retract the scapula, chest nice and expanded, abs are nice and tight, squeeze. Back up. Whew. One more thing to do. Last exercise we're doing for this lat width workout is a Meadows row. Maybe you guys have seen it. It's kind of making a comeback, I would say, within the bodybuilding circles, but it's a great one. I really like it. It's similar to a row, but you're fixed in with a bar here. So your path is gonna be a little bit different. Your elbow is gonna be out to the side rather than pulling straight here. Biggest thing again, we're really focusing on that stretch at the bottom and then out to the side. So from here, 
to here, we're able to focus a little bit more. You're gonna get a little bit different pull, but again, still working Terry's major here, as well as the lats for that width. I like to do an alternating stance here. I don't like to go from here. I like to do that because I can get this hip a little bit higher and get a little bit more range of motion there. So going six to eight reps here. Again, trying to squeeze at the top. throw in some single arm work. Gotta love that single arm work. All right guys, that is it for the lat width addition. Sometimes it's not about reinventing the wheel. Train smarter, not harder, because I know you guys are training hard each and every day. So implement these, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys wanna see moving on and I appreciate you guys. Peace.